We don't think about that mm. as much in the fall like that, but that's we got a lot mm -hmm. of bad weather in the fall. Yes, it can happen any time, really, any day of the year. We've had tornadoes reported pretty much every month, for sure every month, and mm -hmm. across the country at different parts of the year. So it can happen any time. You always got to be ready. For us, it's a transition today back to the normal November. That's good. Okay. You know, we've had things pretty dry around here, even mm -hmm. pretty warm over the last several weeks, but it looks like the transition is on in a pretty big way. Outside right now, we do have clouds in place, and yes, it's possible we could see a little bit of light rain or even wet snowflakes mixing in, but it'll happen between now and 4 p.m. What's happening is the air is very dry at the surface from this vantage point. You can see we're clouded in, but as far as the precipitation that's showing up on radar, not a lot of it having a good chance to reach the ground. It's because we have very dry air. Humidity at 58%. The north winds are blowing. It feels blustery, and the temperature is just going to be falling for the rest of the afternoon. Right now in the boroughs, we have mid-40s. We expect these numbers to slide into the 30s right after sunset, and some places tonight go down to the 20s. That'll happen mainly north and west in the suburbs. So the headlines is cold rain mixing with snow very briefly this afternoon, and we aren't expecting anything to stick. I don't expect it to last long at all. Temperatures tumble into the 20s tonight in the suburbs. And then tomorrow we recover back to the 40s with some sunshine and our temperatures do look good over the weekend. Pretty normal for this time of year. Here's the satellite. You can see a few batches of yellow showing up. That's what could cause some shower activity just east of New York City and onto Long Island. But right before the commute and then things clear out. So watch the planning forecast. Two o'clock, this brief mix. And then by five o'clock, the clouds are in place. The rain ends and we start to clear out for late tonight. On the future cast, this system wraps up and it is really out of here and sets the stage for a beautiful start on Friday morning with a lot of sunshine expected to kick off the weekend. So not a bad forecast at all. We hit 48. We'll see the temperatures drop through the afternoon tonight. 34 for New York City, 20s in the suburbs. It is going to be a chilly night and a very cold start tomorrow. So you'll look outside and you'll see lots of bright sunshine, but a little deceiving. Brisk day tomorrow. We'll call it chilly sunshine in the AccuWeather five-day forecast. High of 46 on Friday. Saturday looks great, 55. And then Sunday, back into the 60s. So this is just a temporary taste of November. And then we're back to the mild weekend. I like the timing on these systems. Yeah, that works out very well. Very nice. <laughs> All right, Thank thanks, you, Amy. They're coming right back. Stay with ABC7 this afternoon, starting with Millionaire, then The Chew, One Life to Live, General Hospital, and Eyewitness News, first at four, all right here on ABC7. Today's preview is sponsored by Optimum. It's Optimum or it's not.